kidding. Today's video is going to be about skincare and if you are an OG you know how we roll. Let's get into these favorites of my skincare. This is um not only from 2017 these kind of like have rolled uh, on and some of them I were introduced but a lot of these are like OGs from back in the day and I'm I just want to show you guys my favorites. So let's get started. I'm going to talk about my fate one of my favorite spray mists and this is the mario badescu this is the facial spray with uh aloe cucumber and green tea and i also have the aloe herbs and rose water i love these i just picked up the lavender one and y'all i'm officially on a no buy but i just want to let you know i picked that up before my no buy and um i'll show you guys um a haul once everything gets in because it was my birthday month in December and I have a few things coming in but um, like I said my hauls are going to be periodic and seasonal but I am currently on a no buy but you will see that in a haul a little bit later but uh, those are one of my favorite mists for my face. It's just really refreshing you guys. Does it do something? It's very hydrating. I would say those are hydrating and soothing to the skin. If you have like irritated skin, um, just as long as you're not allergic to rose or to the cucumber or what have you, I think you would really enjoy those. In terms of, let's go to another mist that is a skincare favorite. This is the Caudalie uh, this is the Beauty Elixir. This is so good. This is unlike some, nothing that I have um, I have tried. This one can go under your skincare, on top of your skincare. Um, you can use this before makeup. You can use this at, after makeup as a setting spray. But it is a smoothing, glowing complexion. This is for smoothing, glowing co complexion. Y'all, and it smells like Thin Mints. It is so, so good. I need to pick up another one of these. But it is amazing. I absolutely love it. That's going to do it for mist at the moment because the other ones would be considered primer, but these are like skincare mists for me. I really like those. Let's go into cleansers. One cleanser that really, really caught my eye. This is by Charlotte LaCroix. This is their gentle cleanser. Y'all, do y'all see how much I've used of this? Do y'all remember when I hauled this? This was in a PR unboxing and this is not a sponsored video. They don't, they don't even know that I am talking about this, but this Charlotte LaCroix, oh my goodness, this is so good. If you have extremely dry skin, you want to get something like this. This is I've never felt a cleanser. Now, this is something that is not going to remove the makeup. Your makeup needs to be clear off your face. It needs to be entirely off your face with like oil cleansing or whatever, however you clean your face. This is one that you want to use that actually is hydrating and you can actually feel some skincare properties going on. This plumps my skin and it is so so good it actually has witch hazel that's some really good ingredients in here you guys it's such an amazing cleanser i highly recommend it and y'all um yeah i'll be picking up another one of these that is just the cleanser of the year for me next let's go into toners the pixie glow tonic i've talked about this y'all can tell yeah, I'm not going to talk about anything that I am not using nonstop on my face. It has glycolic acid to remove dead skin cells. I really do like this. And this actually, to me, prevents breakouts, but it smells so good as well. In terms of a night peel, I've talked about this. I have a review on this. This is the Lancome Visionaire Crescendo. This is a night peeling mask. After I cleanse my face, after I tone, this is what I'm going in with at night. I do have a detailed video on it. So if you want to know more about this, check it out. But this is a game changer. Okay. This is a skincare changer. Okay. So that is amazing. The next things I'm going to talk about are eye creams. These both are in Project Pans, but I love them for two different reasons. This would be my night cream. This would be my day cream. My night cream. This is the Tarte C brightener eye treatment a little bit goes a long way this is the second jar that I've gone through I really really do enjoy this and it looks like I'm going to hit pan but this is something that I definitely will repurchase it's super duper hydrating and I can tell the difference the next day in my eyes 
Um, I thought it was heavy at first and I thought it was giving me Melia, but that one doesn't. Um, it is to me a bit too heavy throughout the day, but I guess um, in the winter months, I might go to that just because my under eye does get dry. My day cream, I am using the Clinique All About Eyes Reduces Circles and Puffs. It's called All About Eyes, y'all. That was just the claims, but I really do enjoy this. It's lightweight. It's very uh, hydrating under the eye. I really do like those um, two eye creams at the moment. I do like the advanced um, eye cream from Estee Larder and the Genifique eye cream. Those are two eye creams that are very mem memorable. And I do like the, what is it? The Midnight Recovery eye cream. I really like those. Um, those I actually have run out, but I'm not going to pick anything up right now because I'm trying to run out of those. And I'm on a no buy, y'all. In terms of, let's go to sleeping mask or night mask. This is the Laneige water sleeping mask. I do have the larger jar of this right over there, but this is my travel size. I absolutely love this. It is gone. Um, I've gone through maybe like two of these. Um, I believe, but I really do like this. It's super hydrating. If you have dry skin, Laneige, try their products. They're so, so good. Okay, so let me talk about two night masks or sheet masks because those are two masks that I absolutely love. Um, the Skin Treats by Garnier. I talked about it being um, a great product to use after this Derma E. This is the Purifying Daily Detox Scrub. I use this as a mask, an exfoliant, and a cleanser all in one. I really do like it. It exfoliates away pollutants and it's gentle enough for daily use. I really, really like this. This is like the second one that I've gone through. This Derma E is like so... I don't hear enough people talking about Derma E, but it is so good. It's amazing skincare product from the drugstore. I highly recommend trying this. I am going to talk about is the Karuna sheet mask. I don't have it in front of me, but I am going to leave a picture in here. But it's the gold packaging. I want to say that's the hydrating one. Stellar, stellar. Karuna mask are by far my favorite those and patchology those are really really good um in terms of eye mask i have i found an eye mask uh in terms of a sheet mask or the ipads i've heard the tart ones are good but i haven't tried those i'm going to skip that one because nothing really comes to mind uh, in terms of those i do like the glam glow eye mask um that go under the eyes that you actually have to place but in terms of patches i can't think of anything right now and I'm running a blank and I call myself writing it down but I don't have it so we will move on moisturizers now I actually have three that I want to talk about okay these two oh my lord okay this is an HG actually both of these are this is the Laneige comfort cream light this is amazing I talked about this all throughout the year of 2017 it smells good it feels good on the skin it is amazing I absolutely love this it's definitely a repurchase um, kind of sad that I am out of this and on, currently on a no buy but don't fret because I do have some other ones this is the Mary Kay this is the oil free hydrating gel this is amazing this will have your skin laid this will have your face beat I really do love this I have a little bit left in there if you can see but this is definitely a repurchase for me when like Mary Kay skincare is bomb if you have not tried the skincare it is so good so so good next thing the pixie glotion day do I really do like this this is a dupe to max strobe cream I feel like I love the fact that it comes in a pump and this is a brightening lotion but pixie really has amazing products for an affordable price and have some really good skin benefits this one is super hydrating it's illuminating so it's going to give you that glow i really do enjoy it it's a repurchase for me and um this one i'm totally out of uh, if you can tell a lot of these are empties as well so that should tell you something one of my favorite is the Lancome Benefit. Uh, this is the SPF 50. This is the Superfluor Facial Sunscreen. This one is oil free. I really do enjoy this one. If you are oily, this is something that you want to go for because it's number one oil free. It's super lightweight. I really like this a lot. It is very runny. 
but um, that lets you know that it is like very, very thin. I love it. This one would be for my dry skin girls. This is the Tarte Guard by Tarte. This is so good and it doesn't have like that sunscreeny scent that this kind of does, but this one doesn't and it's super creamy and it kind of like has a tacky feel. So it feels almost like this would be really great to dual as a primer that's how good it is i really enjoy it i've gone through like two bottles of this but amazing let's talk about face oils and serums one that i have but i have not opened yet because i'm really kind of when it comes to face oils i like to use what's already open i'm a kind of a stickler like to not have a whole bunch of bottles because those can go bad really quickly i absolutely love this one from smooth naturals this one is the beautiful face restorative oil serum i really do like this it has some oils in it they are kept very well you want to keep oils in a dark cool place i love maracuja oil by tarte that is like a holy grail for me but i really do like marula oil as well um this one actually has uh this one has current argon oil uh, cranberry seed oil rose hip oil and vitamin e so it has some really good oils i really do like this i feel like if this is um if you are dry or even if you're oily this is going to change the game of your skin your serums and your oils so i am such a face oil lover i also love the fresh sea berry oil and the josie Marin argan oil it's okay but i do like holy grail without a doubt I will never be without my marula oil and I will never be without my maracuja oil. In terms of serums, the Genifique by Lancome, I love. I had like five or six of these. I love this. I love this. It is so, so good. It's amazing. It leaves my skin soft, supple. It feels like it has a hyaluronic acid type of vibe going and I absolutely love that serum as well. Um, this is a hydrogel. This is like a quick fix under my eyes if I don't want to go in with a cream. This is a, an eye gel and I have been using this nonstop but um, I'm going to be able to, I'm going to have to get one of these soon but this one um, I have been loving. That's a really good product. And this is the MAC Lip Conditioner. I love putting on a lip balm before I go to bed. I love this one. I love the Lip Balm by Smooth Naturals. I love the Vaseline, um, the small little mini um, containers. I love those. And I also love the Fresh, the, is it Sugar? Fresh Sugar Lip Balms. Amazing amazing so um one more skincare i was like this was in front of me i cannot go without talking about this this is the l'oreal hydrogenous normal dry skin formulation y'all can tell i have been using this non-stop it is so good to even mix with stuff but it's super hydrating and i feel like it's water-based but it's also that lightweight gel feel i'm definitely going to be picking up another one of